Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a gateway computer. I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 onto it using Windows 11 install media. Now this assumes that your computer, for whatever reason, is not booting up properly. Maybe it doesn't have an operating system on it. If your computer has a previous version of Windows but works well, you may not need to go through this whole process. You can probably just go online to Microsoft and upgrade to Windows 11. I'll have that link below in the description where you can go there. But this video, I'll show you how to use an install media USB to install Windows 11. So first guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off, and make sure the charger is plugged in throughout the install process. And I'll show you how to install Windows 11. So we're going to first take our Windows USB, we're going to plug it into the USB port. And then we're going to hit our power button and immediately start tapping on the delete key. That will take us into our BIOS menu. So not every gateway will have the same version of BIOS. There are many different versions. So you may have to navigate around or search for the options I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna arrow over to my boot tab using my arrow keys. You may have to use your mouse. You may have to use your tab or your enter keys. There are different ways of navigating BIOS. If you guys cannot figure out how to navigate BIOS, your mouse isn't working, your keyboard doesn't seem to be working, try using an external USB mouse or an external USB keyboard. Sometimes that will work in BIOS. In my BIOS, the way that it works is I'm gonna arrow down to my first boot option, which in this case is my hard disk. I'm gonna hit enter. And now instead of my hard disk in the first place boot option, I want my USB. So I'll arrow down to my USB and I'll hit enter. Now that's put my USB as the first boot option. Again, depending on your version of BIOS, you may have a different way to accomplish the same thing. Sometimes you would simply select your USB and it would continue booting from there. You may not have to move it to the first place, but some of you will have to do this. So if you need help figuring out how your specific BIOS does it, let me know. But again, it's usually moving it into the first place or simply selecting it and continuing. So now that I have my USB in my boot option number one, my key says F4, save and exit. And I know from past experience with this computer, I have to hit the function key and F4, and that will access save and exit. Some of you, again, you may just have to hit F4, but again, all BIOS are, are gonna be different. You have to learn your BIOS. So save configuration and exit, I'll hit yes. Now the computer will continue booting, but from the USB. Now this is your first window during the install process, so it has started. We just have to navigate these options. So depending on where you are or what you wanna do, your options may not be the same as mine, but I'll guide you through these steps so you see what I'm doing. So right here it said it as English and US, that's what I want. Apparently I didn't have the use of my trackpad, so I had to plug in an external USB mouse, as you can see here. So now I can move around with my mouse, I'm gonna hit next. And then install now is my next option. And there it goes. These are the terms and conditions. I'm gonna hit accept and hit next. This is one of those options where you may differ. I'm getting this computer ready for resale. So I'm gonna do custom only. That will allow me to delete everything on it. This one up here, install Windows and keep files, settings, and applications. Some of you may want to do that if you have data or files on there that you wanna save. So again, figure out what you wanna do, choose the correct option. I'm gonna go with this one, advanced, and I'm gonna delete all of these partitions because I want all the data gone. So I'm gonna click on a partition, hit delete. Click on another partition, hit delete, confirm. Delete, confirm. Delete, confirm. Once I've deleted all the partitions, all the recovery points, if you have them, I'm left with unallocated space, which is what I want for a clean install with no data saved. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's selected because that's where I want to install Windows. And I'm gonna hit next. And there it goes. So now it says restarting, I'm gonna remove my USB so that when the computer restarts, it's not booting from my USB again. Because remember, my USB was selected to first 
on that brute list. Okay, so now the Windows 11 process will finish up. There's some more options here to choose from. It'll ask you, is this the country of origin? I'm going to hit yes for United States. Is this the right keyboard layout? I'm going to hit yes for US. Would you like to add a second keyboard layout? I'm going to skip this step, so I'm going to click on the skip button. So here's where you have to select the Wi-Fi network to continue. Sometimes you'll have the option to proceed without it. But in this setting, I'm going to have to select a Wi-Fi network. Here's a step that wants me to name my device. I'm just going to call it Gateway. Again, because I'm getting this ready for resale, I'm going to hit Next. Now this is where you have to sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you have to create one. If you guys do not want to be signed into your Microsoft account, don't worry. I'll have a video link up top, also below in the description showing you how to sign out of your Microsoft account to erase it from your computer, get rid of it um, after this process is done if, if you want that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Some of you may see this option. It wants to restore settings from a previous device. You can select that. Or if you don't want to, if you want to set up this PC as a new PC, hit the more options option here. And then right down here, set up as new PC. And then again, you have to confirm. They never want you to do these things. You always have to confirm. Create pin number. I'm going to hit that. These are a bunch of options you can choose, guys. Read down through them, see which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to not have. I just go down through all of them and unselect them. I don't like any of them. The next few windows will just be some customizations, which again, I'm, I'm getting this ready for resale, so I'm gonna fly through these. I don't want any of them, but read through them, see if there are things that you guys wanna do, but I'm gonna skip all of them. Skip this one too, not now. Uh, decline Microsoft 365, decline storage. I'm gonna skip the gaming option here. All this stuff that Microsoft pushes on you now, it's a lot more than it used to be. Now it's just getting everything finalized and we're almost to our desktop. And there we are at our Windows 11 desktop. The install was successful. Okay, so that's the install process. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description below first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment though, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Last thing I'll shout out about this process, after you've installed a new version of Windows, there may be a lot of updates that need to be run. Security updates, system updates, driver updates. Um, you can leave them running on their own, automatically in the background and not do anything, and that's fine, they will eventually complete but you may notice your computer is kind of sluggish during that process. I always prefer to run the updates all manually right away, get it all caught up, and then all you have to worry about are, are the periodic updates that come out. So if you wanted to get them all run right away, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. I'll also have it as the end video when this one's done, showing you how to process all the updates for Windows 11. As always, guys, please remember to like and share if this did help you out, if you think it can help someone else out. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further and leave a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.